yes, once again, I gave you a little hint as what my next review would be in the last video, assuming you watched it, which I know you didn't. No, I'm just kidding. And today we'll be looking at the Black Series 2 Baka from the, obviously, Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch line. Another great retool of an old figure. Some great paint detail on this, and one huge flaw, which really ruins a lot of the figure for me, but... You know, we'll get onto that in just a minute. After we look at the biggest flaw of the packaging, we got a awful picture down there, and just uh, just get out get, get out of my house. I don't even want that to review it, let alone talk about it. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, and it's the same color as an elephant sometimes. The awful bowcaster. I will not be taking it out of his hand because it's a bitch and a half to get in there. So let's just talk about the bowcaster. As you can see, this bit is very very loose, very irritating, which is just a minor thing because you know once it's on a shelf, it won't move. Um, it's made out of very soft rubber, as the strap should be, but, as you'll notice, this Chewbacca has been released before with the same accessory, from the VOTC line forward, and this bowcaster is a great sculpt. Unfortunately, they didn't do any paint applications whatsoever, and it is perhaps the worst bowcaster we've gotten since 2004, which is a dirt dying shame. Not a dirt shame, that's something much, much different, which you don't want to talk about. I mean, how hard is it just to paint or mold it in a different color plastic, the strap from the gun? Is it that hard? Ugh, it's just a minor nitpick, I know, but it is something that really takes away from the figure for me, and it really does drag the figure down a bit. But let's talk about the good things, which is everything else about this figure. Head sculpt ripped right from the 6-inch version of this figure. I do have to say, let's just take his torso off so we don't have to deal with his legs. Beautiful head sculpt. Looks just like Chewbacca. And I was reading up on Jedi Temple Archives, might be the best Chewbacca we've ever gotten. I'm not sure about that, but it is definitely in the top three, hands down. Gotta go back and look at some of the older ones. I mean, the mouth looks great, the eyes are a view. beautiful detail blue, the shading, the fur detail, it's just fantastic stuff. And another great Chewbacca to add to the collection, even the little pouch there. It does have some nice silvery bits on it, so they didn't skimp on that either. And as you saw by me just ripping him apart at the chest, he does have great articulation as all Chewbacca's do nowadays. He has a ball and socket joint head. Ball hinge shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists, a double ball jointed torso, swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and ankles. If they had to make one retool to this figure, I would just say add some ball hinge hips because he is a bit, you know, limited in the posability. But, you know, it's not like Pe Peter Mayhew was doing splits with the Chewbacca costume. So, you know, nothing that we can't do that he couldn't do in the movie anyway. Um, anyway, pretty short one on this one. Generally, when I have good things to say, they are, because it's a pretty great figure. If you had to pick any of them up from this line, yeah, it's a pretty boring release, but if you don't have a Chewbacca, I do suggest you get this one, especially because he's probably going to be looking just like that in The Force Awakens, so you pretty much got yourselves a Force Awakens Chewbacca. So anyway, that's about it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be looking forward to my next review. No hints this time. Ugh, I don't even know what I'm doing next, which shows you the preparation I put into these. God.